Today I had a bit of a lion in because I'm not going to gym so I got to get up at 7 o'clock instead of between 4.30 and 5.30. Just having my breakfast, three Oreos and some tea. And after work today I'm actually going to Shoreditch for my friend's birthday and I don't know how it's going to work because I'm also working tomorrow so I'm going to be super super tired and I need to think of an outfit to wear because I was meant to do it last night but I was so tired I went straight to sleep working six days in a row 10 hour shifts it's too much I need to do my hair and put on my scrubs and get going because I need to leave in half an hour. so I can do them again after work do it again after work finishing off with this is the best this is the best sunscreen ever it goes in just like a normal cream Before using this, I use this because after the shower, my face is so dry, and this is this is good. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Oh, so I've just made it to work, and two minutes to spare. <laughs> I just need to get my stethoscope. I've got this for lunch, so I need to put that in the fridge. And I need to get my notes from yesterday because we had a few critical patients in the hospital yesterday. So I'm sure they are still here. So I'm just going to get my notes to remind me what's going on with them. And then I'm going to get the handover from the night vet now as well. So. Obviously, I can't really film when I'm at work, so I will just speak to you when I'm on my lunch. Which, when you're on hospital, you don't know what time your lunch is going to be. So, let's just hope and pray for a nice morning, nice lunch, nice afternoon, and a nice evening. Uh, right speak to you later <laughs> oh my gosh so i'm on my lunch now it's 10 past two and yeah it has been busy like the first thing i had to do when i went in was to euthanize a tortoise like what it was so sad um i think a fox or a dog got to it and it bit off its little hands traumatic a huge tortoise as well but that was my first thing it's pouring with rain there are so many critical patients so i am gonna go to waitrose it's literally like a five minute walk but 
it is raining as you can tell so i'm gonna drive there and eat in my car because it's more cozy oh i'm so tired and i know i'm meant to be going out tonight I'm, I'm excited about going out tonight i'm just a bit worried because i'm working tomorrow 10 hours again um and i feel like i was not made for this life but I want to have a work-life balance so this is me doing it and then i'll see if it works if not i just won't do it again i'll just do what i usually do and go home and chillax instead of going out it doesn't help that it's pouring with rain because that's a vibe killer you know <laughs> So I got a free cheese toasty. Um, I decided to go all out and also get some mini cheddars and some cloudy apple, which mm, 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 mm. looking forward. Mm, I think I deserve that so much, literally. Oh. I'm so oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. Sorry, I need to enjoy this and then I'll come back and talk about me trying to balance work and life. Work and fun. So I wanted to talk a bit about work-life balance because it's almost a year that I've been working and I feel like I've now settled in and feel as though I'm having I have a good work-life balance because before I was feeling like I was just working, going to sleep, waking up, working and even when I did have time off because I do work a four day week, I felt as though I was just too tired. I just wanted to relax. I just wanted to stay at home and have a nice relaxing bath and just watch TV, watch Netflix, chill. But now I find as though I am actually able to go out and do stuff you know just live my life so i just wanted to give a few tips on how you can achieve a work-life balance because normally I'd, I'd work a 40 hour week but on the times i have to work a weekend i work 60 hours for example now <laughs> i am on a 60 hour week so i would say that make sure that you set boundaries because it, you can easily do so much over time so you need to set boundaries between work life and personal life. I think I am quite good at when I leave work, I'm, I switch off. I don't think about work unless I'm worried that I did something wrong. But that doesn't happen too often, <laughs> touch wood. However, sometimes I'm not good at leaving on time because it's, it's very hard to leave on time. But if you're in a job the way you leave on time, I would just say that, yeah, to set boundaries between making sure that you're not bringing work home. Because once you finish work, that should be end of work time, beginning of personal time. You need to plan your days. So I always, always plan my days off or always plan if I have to do something after work. Like for example, today I've planned, I've even though I didn't do it the night before, which I was meant to do, in my head I already knew what I was gonna pack for after work. I know that straight after work I'm going to Shoreditch, so I need to pack what I need. I need to pack my hair stuff, I need to pack my clothes, my change of shoes, and it's already planned out in my head. And in all my days off, I have planned exactly what I'm going to do because it's so easy to just not do anything on my days off if I'm if I'm so tired I just don't do anything kind of relax which is fine but if I want to do something like see my friends or or go out or do something I need to plan it beforehand otherwise it just won't get done I'll just stay at home this kind of leads into making sure that you actually use your time off because for so long i was using my time off but i was using it to just stay at home and try and refresh from the days of work <laughs> but now i use these days to see my friends to do activities 
and I feel as though my life is more complete rather than working because yes sometimes you do need that time to yourself but you need social time with friends and and to do different activities and stuff so I would say to just make sure that you try and fit that into the time that you have I think if you're struggling with this that you should try to get some support maybe your manager can you can speak to your manager and they can arrange something for you so at my work if anyone ever needs to leave early like they need to catch a train or they need to leave on time we just tell the team okay we have to leave on time or we need to leave like 10 minutes early and as long as it's not like every single day then usually they're fine with that so i would say speak to your manager speak to your team and see if they can help you in any way if possible in your job i would try to delegate tasks so for example if you feel as though you're taking on too much and it's just making your work not enjoyable you're just going in every day just knowing that you're going to have a heavy workload and then finishing the end of the day thinking oh you don't want to do this again then try and see if you can delegate some of your tasks to some of your teammates or again speak to your manager to see if you can have some help or support anywhere and just make it a bit easier because that might also be a source of your exhaustion and if you feel less exhausted after reducing your workload then that gives you more time to enjoy your personal life. I know sometimes it can be hard to say no but you need to learn to say no if you're constantly accepting extra jobs or accepting extra tasks and that is interfering with your uh, work-life balance. Finally, I would say that if you are really struggling with your work-life balance, then maybe it's time to consider limiting your hours. Maybe you just need some extra time to yourself and reducing your hours might give that to you. Mm, it's three o'clock now and I better get back to it. I've got a few inpatient visits and I need to get everything prepared for them. I need to write up my notes, look at my patients and just make sure everything's going okay. So I guess next time we will be on our way to Shoreditch. Everybody trying to make some Jersey club, but ain't hit Jersey once. Hold up, where you from? Yeah, it's different when I do it because it's in my blood. This that Jersey love, I give a Jersey love. Seem like everybody tryna make some Jersey club, but I ain't hit Jersey once. Hold up, where you from? Yeah, it's different when I do it, cause it's in my blood. This that Jersey love, I give a Jersey love. And I get f***s in different cities, now I'm turning up. But ain't nothing like back home, I get that Jersey love. This that Jersey love, I give a Jersey love. When I hit, I beat it down and tell her, pick it up. I tell her, pick it up. I tell her, pick it up. If I get tired of my bitch, I go and switch it up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I actually did it. Well, I need to get through today, but I'm feeling okay. My eyes feel a little bit... Mm, a little bit... Tight. But I'm at work. We're going to get through the shift. It's going to be a good day. And then I have work again tomorrow. But then I have my day off on Tuesday. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. I really enjoyed my Starbucks. It was so good. And I'm actually like early for work. I guess because it's Sunday. There's like literally, there was literally no traffic. So I'm super early for work. I'm just going to go in, see the hospital, see you how many inpatients we have hopefully it was a quiet night so we don't have too many but we will see i am literally so tired so i could go to sleep right now it's two o'clock i'm on my lunch oh today has been not as busy as yesterday um had an emergency 
it was a cat that needed a c-section because it couldn't push out its babies so we helped that along and it was very very cute so that was nice that was a little boost in the day but now when I'm, I've just finished my lunch and I'm going back I need to do I need to place uh, NG tube in a cat because it hasn't eaten for a couple of days and that's not good so we need to it's a nasal gastric tube so through the nose to the stomach so then we can feed its nutrients um, and then I need to do some x-rays on a dog that's been vomiting and having diarrhea hemorrhagic diarrhea not just any normal diarrhea bloody diarrhea <laughs> so um <sighs> It is a lot of stuff, so it should keep me busy so the time should go fast. But I'm tired. I don't know if I'm going to do this again. Um, I mean, I'm glad I went. I'm happy I went. It was fine for me. It was easy for me to get up in the morning. But I'm really, really tired right now. Maybe if I didn't stay until like 2 a.m. I could have stayed until... 11 12 but you know i wanted to stay and i'm happy i did but at least i know i can do it i don't regret it so yeah i could do it again if needed <laughs>